Alright, this is another cheap ass knife review brought to you by me, Droopsy Bond. This is the uh, Timber Rattler Outlaw Bowie, and uh, just like it sounds, it is a fucking cheap knife, but it's nice in it, to an extent. It's got a, uh, it's got one of the cheapest sheaths I've ever seen. Would definitely not hold up for anything, man. I mean, the retention straps, paper thin. It's, uh, you know, some kind of mocked finished leather finish. I've actually shorted this because it was, it was about that long, dude. It was ridiculous. You know, it had so much flap in it, it wasn't even funny. But for the money you saved on the blade, you can, uh, you can have a custom sheath made for not too much. I mean, this thing was like 18 bucks, which is, is pretty nice. It's got a uh, surgical stainless blade, is what they call it. You know, if it really is, I don't know. It's got the brass pommel and a uh, finger guard. It's full tang. It's like a quarter inch thick, and uh, it's got the brass pins, of course. You know, the the wood is uh, some kind of cheap bullshit. For the price, man, for like 18 bucks, I'll fucking knock these scales and pins out myself and put a better, better quality shit in there and have a custom sheath made. My well, problem is, you can see the grind where work I got going on here. I've got some there too. And uh, I had a little there. I was able to buff that out without you seeing so much. That's because this uh, this thing was made in Pakistan. And it's one of the few things I own that's made in Pakistan. And I'm uh, very anti pakanese I fucking do not like those Paki bastards. When they stop burning my flag and they finish drowning, I quit hating them so much. But uh, so yeah, I, I refuse to even have Packy shit. I bought this back before I really started to resent them too much, and like I said, you know, I've kind of knocked their uh, name off there. I, I refuse to even support their their economy if I can help it at all. But to stay on point. It's uh, dude, it's heavy. I've used it some, not a whole hell of a lot, uh, and it does great. It actually does a lot better than that Shrey large machete I got because of the weight of the blade. You know, the weight of the blade helps it sink and get a good bite when you're chopping. And I've cut some some heavy shit, you know, six inch shit with it, and it it works great, man. It works really good. So, like I said, for like 18 bucks, dude, you can have a custom sheath made. You know, you can knock out these scales. I mean, they're all right, dude. They just they won't hold up much. They don't look that great. You know, you can knock out these pins and put in your own put in your own handle, and uh, you know, have a custom sheath made. You know, I mean, you can get cheap sheaths made, dude, 30 bucks. You know, whatever whatever floats your boat. You know, something like this, more traditional looking Bowie, I'd go with a real leather sheet, so it, you know, cost you more, maybe 50 or 60 bucks for some of the, uh, bargain, bargain deals they got out there. But all around, and just the material alone, man, and the stainless, I mean, 18 bucks, dude, you can't beat it. It's a good deal, man. Not that I have a whole lot of use for it. It's more of a traditional Bowie look. If I was a cowboy or something running around with a fucking 10 gallon hat, it'd look pretty cool hanging from your hip. But, um, yeah, I just, uh, 18 bucks, I, I couldn't pass it up. I just bought it anyway for the hell of it. It looked a lot better in a picture than it does in, in person, but it's not bad, man. It really isn't that bad. If you, you're a traditional Bowie fan and you're on a budget or something, you know, hey, there you go, dude. If you don't mind seeing a big-ass Pakistan stamp on it, then, uh, hey, knock yourself out, man. This is the way to go. I guess, uh, you know, like I said, for a budget buy. Anyway, that's it. There's not a whole lot I can say about it. Cheap sheath, cheap knife, but uh, not not bad, man. Not a bad deal. Worth it if, like I said, that's what you're looking for. Anyway, that's it.